Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Scorpio, the Moon Rising Venus, and Mars Moon. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors. Spirit, guys of the highest light, like, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me. Cover me, keep me safe, and guide me. Please come down and protect the viewers that have clicked on this video today. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, Scorpio. Okay, so somebody here, they want to come towards you and they want to shower you with some type of unconditional loving kisses hugs affection okay <laughs> somebody yeah they want to love on you this is you getting ready to fall in love if you are single don't be in my comments like my god i haven't met that person yet they're on the way or you could definitely be like in a connection with someone and you're getting loved on immensely this is god's gift for you yeah and it's because you've transformed in different ways Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is what's coming towards you guys. I see here. You could have let something go. You could have, okay, I'm seeing here. You guys could have been very, like, chill. Like, you could have had a very lighthearted energy in regards to finding out, you know, someone wanted an unconventional lifestyle. They could have been a polygamist. They even could have, like, strung you along or they had different options or they like hooking up with different people you could be in just like a very light-hearted energy like not even caring and it's because you've transformed the dragonfly you are going through like a metamorphosis you're transforming it yeah even like my incense is going crazy you're going through a major transformation and change right now so it was like your angels and your ancestors protected you covered you you may have intuitively knew this. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm seeing here, for some of you guys, this could definitely be with someone that you were in a connection with, a relationship with, and there could have been a breakup here. Okay? And it's like now you're free. you feel free. You definitely released yourself from a toxic connection. This even could have been very addictive. This person wanted to have options. They wanted, they even could have had like a hard time making a decision in regards to like three people you and two other people some of your likes hookups they like one night stands and it's like you you're not into that yeah i cannot make it up you are a butterfly you're a dragonfly you're evolving you're growing okay it's like you're entering the next phase of your life so you let something go it's like you could have let a player energy go and it's like now you're entering the chapter of your life where you're getting ready to be a wife or a husband you know take it how it resonates yeah this is also you healing your inner child. You're healing. And this person is reminiscing about you. They're, they could be thinking about the way things used to be, but you are moving past that. You've moved, you're moving past that. I'm seeing here, yeah, you have someone new coming in. You're embracing something new, someone new. Okay, it's like you could be ending, releasing the past. You no longer want it. Yeah, and it's because you are enough. You've always been enough. Yeah, your ancestors are getting ready to take somebody out that played around with you. Yes. Okay, so you have nothing to worry about, Scorpio. You could be very spiritual. You could be very close to your angels and your ancestors. Yeah, people want, are asking, like, since when you had this glow up? Since when had did, were you so spiritual or so protected by God or your ancestors? These are people that are in secret competition with you. It seems like you don't even care about this. Yeah. It could also be karmic energies that are pregnant at this time. These people are worried about you when they could, they should be worried about their pregnancy. Or someone here is pregnant. You know, they can have different people pregnant by them. Or, you know, they mm -hmm. karmic preg karmics are pregnant by the same person. It could be a lot of different women pregnant by one person. This could be your person, your person. Oh, could have tried to make you one of them as well. Yeah, you're a healer. 
You knew somebody was on Trickster BS. I said that polygamous lifestyle and it came out. They want you to compromise. Somebody here was trying to like make you warm to this. You wasn't going to get warm to that. Okay. Male or female, you wasn't. You have morals. That's nasty. And yeah, telepathic connection. They want to send you messages telepathically. They feel like you could pick up on their energy. They're also getting readings done on you to see like, have you moved on from them? Yeah, this person definitely has children, male or female, and they're not happy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing here. Yeah, happy mother freakers are not hating. And hating mother freakers are not happy. Someone here feels like they made the wrong decision. We have the empires that picked up the deck. This could be someone that's a, they could be married. <clears throat> or they could have a family at this time. This person is waiting. They're trying to, they're, they're trying to make a plan. Yeah, but they've juggled you. Someone is trying to balance out their life at this time, Scorpio. In regards to making their way back towards you. Yeah, somebody is feeling shameful. Sad, depressed. In a place of shame. Someone is in a place of shame at this time. Five of Cups, remorse, sadness, crying over things they cannot change. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Scorpio. Okay. You have the Hangman, too. Ooh. Seven. Okay. So the Seven of Wands. So you're standing your ground. Somebody here tried to delay your progress. They tried to delay you, you know, getting wish fulfillment, getting blessings, getting your money. This could even be an inheritance. Somebody tried to block this. They really wanted to block it. They really wanted to stop it. Okay. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? Because you're the empress. It could have been like a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. <clears throat> this could be a lawyer doing this. This could be someone that's very militant, aggressive. With the king of swords, male or female, somebody here is looking at you as this empress. They feel like you get everything that you want and they want it to block you. They could feel like you're very blessed. You're very royal. You're rich, regal. The empress, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces is here. Gemini, Libra is here. You're beautiful, you are divine, you're handsome, you're striking, okay? It's like you're, you have a lot of wealth around you. You're very rich in spirit, as above, so below. Yeah, wow, yes. It's just your time to shine, Scorpio. Yeah, energy coming through. Someone here is so upset about this. They did not want this to happen for you. What's the hangman about? Yeah, they wanted to, this. they definitely, you could have been dealing with a court situation here. Where you could have, yeah, you could have had to use your discernment in regards to a court situation, Libra energy. Okay, you have the Justice card, Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Something could have made you like have to sit down and reflect over which way to go or if you should even invest into it. Somebody here was trying to hold you up. They wanted it to be like a landslide. What's this Justice card about? The devil. Yeah, they wanted it to be a landslide. They, they, mm hmm. Someone was playing very devilish, very toxic, like, in regards to trying to cause confusion. This could have been in regards to a court situation or a legal battle that you were in. And it had to do with your money, your resources. For some of you guys, it had to do with a relationship or a marriage that you could have been in with a Taurus or even another Scorpio or a Capricorn. Aquarius is here. Leo is here as well. Sagittarius is here. Pisces is here. Father God, expose the truth with the Tower card. Something was exposed. This is your energy, Scorpio. You illuminated something. Father God it is breaking down something or broke down something that was not serving you. That was being built on a thick and faulty foundation. It was being destroyed. Somebody here was trying to put you in a marriage. They wanted to get you in some type of legal contract. You know, yeah, it was to literally take access to your money. It was to break your heart. It was to put you at a place of heartbreak. Wow, this even could have been an institution. You could have gotten involved or not involved, but like had like close bonds with someone in an institution. Even could have been like a bank. 
God exposed some type of plan, some type of upheaval before you could. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's this tower? Yeah, somebody's plan. It has to do with your money and your pentacles. Somebody, God exposed somebody's plan. And it could have even brought in some type of upward chaos or destruction because of it. Yeah, somebody had hidden motives and agendas. They didn't want you to know about. Could have been a Cancer, a Taurus, Earth sign, a Libra, a Capricorn. Ooh, karma justice is yours. Someone here did not realize. They didn't realize. Yeah, the four swords for the two is right. They did not realize this, that they were going to be going up against someone that's truly protected and covered by God. With the will of fortune and the Empress and everything, you will not want to play around with Scorpio. You have God's covering over you. Okay, it's like you're, you're on your divine path, especially with the justice card coming out in the upright. Things are going to work out in your favor, regardless of illusions that people are trying to cast over you, regardless of, you know, temptation or trickery. Someone here is trying to keep you definitely in the dark with things, with the moon, the tower, the seven of cups. They want you to have like a slow demise. Oh, man, they didn't realize this. It was going to be them. Yeah, that you were going to call judgment. That you were going to step into your intuition, your natural element, your natural habitat, King of Cups, become emotionally grounded, centered into you, get back to you, get back to rationale. What's the Seven of Cups about? Yeah, they were keeping this from you. People were keeping things from you or someone specific was keeping things from you. For some of you guys, this was an institution. It could have even been in a marriage. Some type of investment in regards to your money or resources, but you could have felt like you trusted an individual. You could have trusted them and they were trying to destroy you. Someone has been very jealous and hateful. They're working out of a very jealous and hateful energy. And it's like you call judgment. Ever since you called judgment and made a final decision, Scorpio, it's been bringing people nothing but heartache with the eight of swords. But making someone stressed out, you're the five of swords fighting over you. It's been uproar, drama, conflict. Since you've moved away, the Six of Swords, and you've rejected people, or you're rejecting things that just don't serve you, it's putting you in a place of alignment. And it's making people very discontent because they wanted you to be in this type of energy. But it's like, mm -mm, Father God said, it's a no-go. The Tower to the Three of Wands. It's a no-go to their plans, things that they were waiting on to come towards you. It's a no-go. It's not going to happen with the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're going to be able to overcome this. And you're also, yeah, it's because you love yourself. Wow, the Ace of Cups of the Strength Card, you love yourself more than anything. You have deep self-love. And it puts these people in the place of shame. <laughs> oh, you have so much self-love. You love yourself. And they don't, under, it's like people don't understand that with the Ace of Cups and the Strength Card, you will choose you. You will cover you. You will protect you. And because of that, it's like God sees that because God works through you. So you listen, you're obedient, you loving on yourself, and you understanding that God loves you immensely. It's, it's keeping you covered. It's putting these people at a place of discontent because they're not understanding how you're able to do it after opposition or strife or even like spiritual warfare, hidden spiritual warfare with the tower, the justice card. The devil, the five of wands, and the moon card represents in like the spiritual realm for me. Yeah. And the hangman, these people wanted to keep you stuck in a place of confusion and they wanted to continue to throw spiritual warfare at you. It even could have put you at a place of feeling like you have to defend yourself against people coming towards you with the five of wands. You could have constantly felt like you have to be on like defense mode or attack mode. You're moving away from this. Get ready for a more calmer energy, Scorpio, with the six of swords. Get ready. Get. <laughs> Get ready for a more calmer energy. Get ready for like your peace to be restored with the Six of Swords. You're moving away from trauma. You're also moving away from conflicting turbulence. Okay, that could be around you or that people could be trying to keep you and you're moving away from that. You're moving to a more peaceful energy in your life. Okay, this is also you trusting in your intuition and your spirit, guys. The strength card beats the devil always, all days. That's Father God's strength in you. That's your, your courage, your courageousness, your bravery, okay? Your inner wisdom, your inner strength, your inner belief in yourself that you could do it and that you can achieve all things. It's your time. 
I hope this helps you. I am sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light always. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and I will be seeing you on the next video, Scorpio.